Hello, everyone. Oh, my God. Happy 1989 Taylor's version day. I am wearing, I don't know if you can see my little Taylor's version earrings. And also, I'm wearing uh, Taylor's <laughs> Taylor Swift cardigan. I'm having the best day today. I really, I really am. Today we're sharing part two of our Baldur's Gate Dark Urge Taylor's version, which I think we've waited about a month for. So thank you so much for bearing with me. I did want to time the release of this video with the 1989 Taylor's version coming out just to, as a celebration of the day. I know whenever something is coming out Taylor related, I'm watching everything. I'm watching everything anyone has ever posted ever about Taylor Swift. So I thought that it would be a good time to bring this out for everyone. And also, I hope that you're all proud of me. This is two videos in one week. I made it happen. So also before we get started, tomorrow my partner and I are seeing the Iris Tour movie. If you've seen it, tell me what you thought. Ah, I was so excited. For those who haven't seen my previous Taylor Swift videos, my partner and I didn't manage to get tickets to the Melbourne shows, any of them. Still holding out hope for resale at some point. But so this is going to be my first experience with it and potentially my only experience with it if I don't manage to get tickets. So I'm very excited and I've spent like the last few hours making friendship bracelets. So if anyone happens to be at my screening, I've got, I've got bracelets for you. I'm so excited. I'm actually so proud of them. I'm really jazzed about my speak now one. You guys can't see speak now. Is that easier? <laughs> and yeah, we've got one for speak now. We've got evermore folklore lover. And then I've got like a bunch of the song titles as them. So yeah, my partner and I are making them together. So I'm excited to see what he makes or how long he makes them for. <laughs> but yes, anyway, Baldur's Gate. <laughs> so to catch everyone up, if you haven't seen the first video that we did on this, please go and watch that before this one. But to catch those of you up who did watch the original one a month ago, some things that have happened. We killed Gale the first moment that we met him. We cut off his hand. We went to the Druid Grove and we met all the Druids. We accidentally killed Zevlor. And then later on, Alfira, the bard who we help write a song about her fallen mentor. She comes to our camp, says she's a huge fan and says that she would like to party with us. And by way of accepting her warmly into our camp, we performed a ritual on her and killed her and luckily managed to hide her body from the rest of the party. So it was eventful. <laughs> I'm excited to see where we're going. So my goal for this video is to begin a romance with Shadowheart, Lazelle, Minthara, or it's not going to happen, Karlak. I want to romance a woman in this playthrough because, um, <laughs> but because we're playing evil, I just know that Karlak's not going to be an option, but we'll see how we go. I want to murder everyone in the Druid Grove, obviously, if I'm picking Minthara along the way. So let's just fucking jump into it, shall we? <laughs> you think, Lethal. I mean... Lethal. Long ride the down. Underdog is everything I thought it would be. This and I. The Underdark. This a dangerous place to stop goods. Oh my god. For <laughs> To be deemed worthy by the great Lazelle of Crash Kalea. Continue as you have, Karlak, and you will achieve the same. You need to calm down. You're being too loud. Uh oh! Fetid smell assaults your nostrils. Dead flesh lies below. A great deal of it. Oh no! <laughs> rush of power flows through you. You feel stronger, faster, better. Uh-oh, Kanye reference. <laughs> Not in my Baldur's Gate game. Ah, a fellow wanderer. I hunt a vampire spawn called Astarian. I'm bound to bring him back to Baldur's Gate, alive. Though I cannot swear to his condition once my tribe are done with him. Is he known to you? So you have met him. His kind have charm, 
beyond our mortal means to resist. But you're right. He's no true vampire. Not yet. I don't suppose you'll tell me where he is. Should I do it? <gasps> I'm gonna do it just because I, I haven't seen what happens. A wise decision. <laughs> I will do my work. And for what it's worth, I will take no pleasure in it. <laughs> We're losing a starion. with the lady of the house. If it isn't the cheekiest pop of them all, you'd best have one hells of an apology for me, young lady. You know, I was going to give you a swift kick up the arse and show you the door, but I think you and I could have a bit of fun together. Now, I can tell you're in dire need of help, Petal. That wriggler swimming in your brain juice is a bit of an inconvenience, isn't it? Because you stink. And I know the stench of mind flayer anywhere. I can tell you're almost done cooking. You know, you could turn just like that. What do you say? Want me to take care of the little bugger? You're a sharp one. I am proposing a deal. But it's different from your little pact. You see, I prefer personal things. <gasps> One of your pretty little peepers. I pluck it from your head, kiss it for luck, then back in it goes. Won't take but a moment. That is my price. Nothing more, nothing less. Oh, God. Why? I'm afraid that's my business, Petal. It's nothing nefarious, though. I promise. My door is always open, Petal. Aunt Yettle is here for you. Let an old lady live. Uh-oh. I should speak up. Will's brows furrow as your minds connect. He sees the burning embers of Joaquin's rest. Then Floric's face as she tells you of Raven Guard's abduction. Hells. Older Raven Guard's been taken. Hold on. If people can just connect their little brain worms and shenanigans, what's stopping any of them from seeing that I killed Elfira? Huh? Tonight uh -oh. you can't chase the thoughts of that poor girl you killed from your head. You wonder what she looked like as she died. Squirming, skewered in abject agony. <laughs> I don't know if I should lean into it. I don't know if it's going to kill someone else. Be brave. You would have given anything to have seen it. As you jolt awake, too many questions plague you. When the proud deed of her death was yours, why do you have no recollection of it? <gasps> Milady, <gasps> jubilant day! I have found your vile self at last! Oh. Scleritus fell! Your loyal and ever adoring butler. I followed you, my dear rotted master. We have been parted so tragically long. Who is this in the law? This has got to be Jack Antonoff. <laughs> oh my god. I was ready to lay some beats down for you, Queen. My lordly reprobate. I I missed you ever so. I found you following the stench of that bard. <sighs> she reeked across the coast like a piece of dog muck on the road. That's because I threw her in a river, right? Oh my god! I do want to know this. Such Fine work could never be done by a wretch like me. Anyways, 
I come once again bearing a part of your dreadful inheritance. You earned this iniquitous prize through your great show of exceptional violence the other night. I'm sure Master will be better soon. A fellow of your fine breeding is never down for long. <laughs> I cannot wait until your next act of shameless barbarity. Neither can I. Oh, my sanguine master, your next work will be wonderful. It will be hard to improve upon what you have already done. I am a great admirer of what you did to the bard's left carotid artery. But I am certain inspiration will strike. Be true to yourself, my lady. The shadow itself, once per turn, when you kill an enemy, shroud yourself in become invisible pants i'll wear it oh it's pretty should we just do a long rest for fun because we potentially have a starion dying here i don't have enough camp supplies <laughs> yes i do heavy. Moisture drips down your forehead. Pain shoots through your fingers. Fingers to mouth. Your finger traces the arc of your lips. Wetness, sweat, blood and saliva mixed into one viscous liquid. Don't you dare, love. Chukil gake vlaketh mazathok. Can you feel it crawling through you? Tendrils squirming in your chest, gripping your heart, piercing your belly, your bones popping, your flesh swelling. I can. I see it in you. I feel it in me. We are lost. I will be quick with my blade. First you, then the others, then myself. Your minds intertwine. You sense a touch of uncertainty, a touch of disgust. Hmm. I love how I can guidance myself. <laughs> bah, I cannot trust my own mind, so it seems I must trust yours. I will wait, but know this. I am watching. If the sickness does not pass come dawn, I will end us all. As you should. Oh, who's my guardian? I don't even remember what I made. I came just in time. Blichella! <laughs> you are transforming. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I can't believe I did that. <laughs> and I'm here to save you again. It's giving look what you made me do. <laughs> With the worry. many tailors in one scene. You will not become a mind flayer. Not while I'm around. I'll protect you. <gasps> Imagine hacking the grabby paw off. Oh. You know what? I, I didn't make this a condition with how I'm playing. Allowing myself that knowing that I didn't make it a condition. I'm going to save. Because I want to see what happens. And if I don't like it, I don't have to commit to it. Even though I do want to try and do as evil a playthrough as I can, this is Dark Urge specific. And I do want to experience the Dark Urge, but we'll see. My conscience can only handle so much. Though the thought crosses your mind, it doesn't hold you, doesn't devour you. 
as your thoughts too often can. Oh. Your compulsions will doom us all if you do not work to stop them. I can help. Oh, thank God. Okay. I'm happy that was just an exploratory one and not a I'm cutting off my guardian's hand. <laughs> I have to go. The enemy is closing in. I will be back. Wake now. You'll feel better. I promise. The long rest worked in the end. I think that was just a glitch. I think there's been a glitch. With fragulous crown and with scepter of braid, draw Regslin, short work of the innkeeper, made. <laughs> you, move off! Do as she says. Now. <clears throat> now, where was I? Huh? Wait a tick. That a friend of yours. Oh, certainly not. Never seen this what man in my life. Doing? I'm busy here. You lying. To you? Never. Come, let's continue our ballad. <clears throat> <clears throat> I'm so nervous because I know I have to side with Minthara and against the Druid Grove for this playthrough. That's one of my goals. But doing it hurts so much. But I need to see something different, right? So that means I don't save Halson. Oh! If anyone is in my Discord, you'll know that Halson thirst in my Discord is so real. So the fact that I'm potentially just either leaving him or killing him in this. I want his fit, if nothing else. Greetings, child. I've met few aside from goblins here. You recognize the scourge. This man is a follower of Leviata, goddess of pain. Forgive me, but that look in your eyes, something terrible has happened to you. Yeah, I got my music stolen by some stupid men. Please, let me alleviate this pain. As the Maiden of Pain, the Goddess Loviata teaches us through penance, administered by my skilled hand. Go ahead. I'm sure you're in need of a little penance. Damn, okay. Simply face the wall and we can begin. Face the wall and let us begin, dear one. Uh. The pain you suffer will cleanse you. Do not fight it. Okay. Your voice sounds so sweet, <laughs> dear one. So creepy. Keep going. <laughs> Pain is proof that we live. Revel in it. That's it, dear one. Let Lovieta hear you. I'm glad I long rested for this, huh? Oh, you are doing so well. Do not give in now. This is a Rihanna shirt. Guide myself. Yes, you can, child. Take the pain and offer it up to Loviata. Offer it all. Sweet child, you bore the pain like a true believer. I am proud to have served you this penance. Oh, a 
As did I, dear one. Loviata herself found your performance inspiring. She has deemed you worthy of her blessing. Am I going to get your fit? Because that's what I want. And on a personal note, thank you. That was positively divine. You know, it's for the pain of it all. Being arrested for assault. Ah! Hold on. When I attacked him, it wasn't okay. But when he attacked me, it was fine. When a man does it, it's strategic. But when a woman does it, it's calculated. Make it make sense. Oh, smashing! I kind of hope that Volo is another victim of the Dark Urge. Is that, is that crazy of me to say? <laughs> Your scouting party has not returned. And half of the intruders escaped your guards. Sorry, mistress. We mucked up. Until their sanctuary is found, I will take something precious from you every hour that passes. As she turns to you, her thoughts mingle with yours. A cold hand caressing your brain. The chamber melts away to reveal a dark, endless nowhere. In it, you see a vision. The drow listens as a pale-eyed young woman whispers in her ear. One of those the voice spoke of. One of the chosen. The vision fades away. A true soul in such a grotesque form. Jesus. The absolute has a place in her heart even for Dothir. Her heart is more generous than mine. Join my hunt. Fairy, and obey me. <sighs> Worshippers of a false god. Their existence is an insult to the Absolute's claim on this region. There is a weapon the Absolute seeks. I'm sure those wretches have it hidden away there. We will find it amongst the dead and the ashes. You can be my eyes. Her mind enters yours. A splinter of ice piercing your memories. Tiefling faces flicker into view as she attempts to learn the grove's location. She sees the entrance to the grove as the adventurers retreat inside, joining the tieflings, and then smile serenely as blood and shadows spread like stains across your memory, erasing all that lived there. The cowards found refuge among the desperate. Perfect. If the inhabitants do not realize you are the knife at their throats, we can use that against them. Go to their refuge and make your way inside. As a friend, you will open the gates from the inside when the time is right to strike. We will cleanse the place of infidels and burn it to the ground in the absolute's name the masterful <sighs> painting she depicts of the massacre awakens you hungrily stop i'm growing aroused <laughs> control yourself <laughs> you are as uncouth as the goblins these butterflies are giving eras am i right fearless <laughs> i was born in 1989 <laughs> Okay, get out of here. I'm gonna keep Kylak at home. She's going to see what happens. Hey, Astarian never got attacked by that guy. Interesting. Hmm. Who did I say I was gonna swap in? I'm just gonna swap in Astarian. Now I've got all the neutral slash evil aligned characters. Fingers crossed we're gonna have a minimum lack of character. Oh, Astarian, I sentenced Astarian to death and now I need him just to fill my party because Karlak is definitely leaving me. Oh no, the consequences of my actions. <sighs> you 
Your companion has barely left the body! No sign of a starian. I saw <laughs> found his mark. I did kill him! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> you know what? I might do something that I've never done before and and hire a hireling. Oh my god. So Fuzzer Lump. They, they have amazing names. Oh, a monk. I might take the monk, seeing as they're very strong, and we're going to probably need someone with a little bit of frontline action. And also, like Lazel, they look like a snake. <laughs> snake gang. Hold! Hold! Weapons down! Are you bloody mad? We nearly... Never mind. Get up here. I want that gate closed when the goblins arrive. I'd given you up for dead at the goblin camp. And now our hopes along with you. What happened? We've spotted goblins massing in the woods. You helped us throw them back once before. Fancy doing it again? Oh no. Oh no! I don't... Oh, gods. You've turned on us. Hells, why? I don't know. Well to the hells with <laughs> the Carlac. Weapons. Or oh, Shadow Heart. Oh, no. Carlac. A splinter of ice works its way into your mind. The way is clear. Now we can cleanse this place completely. Kill everyone. <sighs> there is a bond between us, true soul. I can see what you are. What you want. And you can see what I want. Through her eyes you see yourself. Skin glistening with sweat, hands bound. Ecstasy or terror, maybe both. You feel her breath on your neck, her fingers running down your spine, and then it is over. I will come to your camp tonight. We will celebrate this victory together. As you approach your camp, the walker's celebrations have already begun. But you are intercepted before you can join the party. I didn't escape the hells oh, to lose my soul no. to another evil. I, I can't be part of this anymore. Volo has fallen into the goblin's <laughs> clutches again and appears to be chronicling your misdeeds. Oh. The goblins praise the absolute, but their celebrations also honor their leaders, Minthara. And you. You fought well, and so did these creatures, thanks to our leadership. When you tire of their company, come to me. Tonight, you are mine. Whoa. Uh, I guess Minthara is going to be in my party. I shouldn't have been that worried about it. What the hell? Um, I'm going to go talk to Lazel, who's almost certainly going to proposition me. I have seen the Kithraki tear a screaming Neogi's legs from its belly to fashion into blades. Yet, they could not match your nerve today. It was enough to drive me to madness. I smell their blood on you still. I smell your sweat. I mean to taste it. Yes. When you lie down for the night, I will come. And I will take what is mine. I'm going to go to bed. If I get in trouble for not talking to Minthara, I'm going to reload and talk to her. I was hoping to find you before you turned in for the night. My blood runs hot after the battle. As she looks you up and down, her mind touches yours. You feel her hand at your neck. Her lips closing around yours. In Menzo Baranzan, the highborn would prostrate themselves before me for a fleeting taste of my body. Be mine tonight, and you will know why. I'm not interested. 
disappointing. But perhaps you lack the imagination to satisfy me. The buzz of celebration quiets to a soothing hum as you approach your bunk. Though you seek repose, you needn't spend the night alone. There is one who yearns for you in the dark. <laughs> who will you seek? <laughs> your heart skips a beat. What treasures might this night bestow? Let's go! Gith train relentlessly. We know our bodies inside and out. Let me show you. Close your eyes and submit. <gasps> oh! Is she gonna like that? I want to be hers. A pause, and then the flicker of a tongue across <laughs> your neck. Open. Taste. Good. Lower. <laughs> you awake in pain. Your back, your hands, even your tongue ache. It's time I return to my bunk. <laughs> <laughs> scene is so funny I don't know why time for pleasure has passed I might take more later should my whims so carry me go to sleep our hunt resumes at sunup in your dream you stand over yourself as you sleep a knife in your hand oh Jesus Murder will the night not end heart. you are ready to strike to end your own life but then a shock runs through your mind this is no dream is it because i didn't sleep with you and thara calm yourself you're about to be Good. part of a girl squad you're awake i want to taste your fear oh could you imagine that failing That might be, but you have not been truly tested yet. But you will be, and soon. I am curious to see if you survive. I watched over you as you slept, peaceful and silent. And I spoke to our god. I asked her why she had chosen you, made you one of her faithful, when you are so clearly broken. Beautiful, but broken. There is something missing in you. And I do not understand it. She told me to decide your fate. To determine if you are worthy. If you are, I am to send you into her embrace. At the seat of her power. We are both worthy. Oh, I'm gonna say it. Oh, two. Just don't crit fail it. <laughs> oh my god, it glitched. Oh my god, thank god it glitched. Oh my god, it glitched. In time, I believe we may be together. Travel to Moonrise. We will meet again there, at the heart of the Absolute's power. The land around Moonrise is cursed. Traveling there will sap your strength and your sanity. But I can protect you. A wretched creature in my service can guide you through the curse. This harp will summon him. Play it when you are in the shadows and he will come to you and know that you are a friend. 
He was a drow once. Now he is an abomination. A victim of Lolth's cruelty. His minions will wait for you at the mountain pass, on the threshold of the Shadow Curse. I warn you, he is quite mad. But he knows the path to Moonrise better than anyone. Go to him when you are ready. I will lead what remains of my forces to Moonrise ahead of you. <laughs> when we next meet, we will be together in the Absolute's presence. And she will make us her champions. Can I talk to my snake wife now? Oh! What have I done here? <laughs> Curious. I took of you completely. Yet your body seems no more worse for wear. Perhaps I might find use for it again. Yes, please. Perhaps if I'm in need of relief. Until then, I'll enjoy watching you squirm from the anticipation of it. <laughs> you know what's so stupid? <laughs> I didn't even realize when I was looking at the stacked backpacks that I had double clicked someone has permanently left your party. And that double click wasn't just, it wasn't just a mistake. It wasn't just Karlak leaving my party permanently. It was also Will. It never occurred to me during the recording of that. So yeah, that's something that happened. So of the six original companions, we have lost Gale, we have lost Astarian, we've lost Will, and we've lost Karlak. We only have Lazel <laughs> and Shadowheart left. So normally I think if you are playing a kind of evil playthrough in a normal way, and maybe not with the Dark Urge, you normally get to keep Gale and Astarian, but because I was being chaotic and just like, let's just see what happens. Yeah, we've lost two of the people that probably would have stuck with us so incredible and i'm excited that we started the romance with lazel although minthara was on the table i just i've heard too many things about her romance being bugged so i just kind of i'm not not so much about it plus i liked the imagery of being with lazel so yeah i hope that you all enjoyed that i am thrilled that this series has had the attention that it has had thank you so much to those of you who have the same interests as me i didn't realize that the taylor swift Baldur's gate crossover was so um th the people that like it are a circle i think <laughs> so thank you so much to everyone who has enjoyed this i've really been enjoying making them so yeah let me know what you thought of this let me know if even if you don't like taylor swift and you're just in it for the dark urge let me know if you're suffering along with me uh with the decisions that i'm making i can't wait to see where me and my snake wife go from here i think by the end of the next playthrough we'll probably have finished act one so my goal is to progress Lazel's storyline as best we can because I know that we can do that a lot in Act 1. And we're probably going to be doing some different things to what I did in both of my original playthroughs. So I hope that everyone has an amazing day. I hope that you enjoy 1989 Taylor's version. I can't believe we're getting it. I'm so excited. Please enjoy the rest of your day. Enjoy yourself. Stay healthy. And I will see you all next time.